Good mid-morning, everybody. Uh, it's Heather Ruth here, your intuitive life coach and self-care doula or healer, numerologist, whatever you want to give me as title. I will receive that. Oh, it's Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's November. And we are here talking about our 64 days of gratitude. And I had someone ask me, what is it is what do I do? So I'm a coach, right? Um, and I love working with people that have either fully become disconnected with the self, their selves, they're learning to reconnect to all the pieces of who they are, their intuition, their wisdom, and really understanding the feeling side of life. I, I really, really do work well in the emotional side of things. This is uh, something I've been studying. I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about emotion and energy and how do we utilize this? So that is what I do. But anyway, and a part of that is understanding the power of living in gratitude, the power of practicing, of living it, of talking about it, of expressing your gratitudes for the ripple effects for people to really create a space where the gratitude it becomes in, it just becomes you. It becomes a part of who you are and you can feel it all the time. And so it, it really does actually help to release the struggle, right? And so today is day 11 of my 64 days of gratitude journey. Um, you can follow me here in Facebook land. You can follow me on Instagram, on my IGTV. And I also have a YouTube channel, which I'll be getting the link up in my bio. Uh, and I will find a way to post it here on Facebook. But anyhow, you can watch me in a few places. You can hear these conversations. You can share them out to your friends if they need to hear it. If something resonates with you, please let me know. I, I love conversation. I welcome interaction. Connection is one of my key core values. And, you know, when we can't connect in live person, let's try and connect through this online space. I know it's new and it's different. And a lot of my clients aren't on here. Um, on a regular basis, but I love you and I see you and here we go. So today, day 11, I'm grateful for owls. Why would I be grateful for an owl? You know, the one thing I know about nature is it can teach us so much and these animals really can teach us the most. And last night, my husband and I watched um, the David Attenborough documentary series on Netflix when he was just giving his witness statement, his statement to say this is over the course of the years, he's 95 years old, of all the things he's been doing in the world, traveling and being with the animals and being in nature and bringing that to us through the screen is to create awarenesses about our impact. You know, we are extremely intelligent beings and we've created an impact on Mother Earth and Mother Earth is pushing back on us, on us and asking us to take stock in our impact, take stock into how we are influencing it. And now let's start thinking outside the box. Let's look at how we can work in harmony and balance with nature so that we can all experience this planet and the energies of it um, of inequality, right? We equal, equal. And I love owls. And in the picture that I shared in my written post, I took that myself. I was like literally that close to this beautiful horned owl. And he was so wise and yet so serene. And he just sat there and he stared at us. And he'd been visiting my parents' property, I guess a couple of times they had seen him. And so my kids decided to name him Oscar. He was Oscar to the owl. And he just looked at us. And both my kids said it was like he, he was looking through us, right? Like he just looking through us. Like we weren't there disturbing his peace. Um, we, like he wasn't disturbing our peace. We can be in this space together. No one was in harm's way. We were all safe. And it was at a time in July when I had traveled up to see my family in, my, and in the middle of all this pandemic stuff. And I was at, in, a, in, a, in a place of, am I, what am I looking at? Am I looking at the, what is the illusions that I'm buying into? What are the non-illusions? Any of those kinds of things. And, and he showed up to really give me this sense of, you know, 
trust. Trust in the wisdom that you have obtained. Trust in the wisdom that is already within you. Trust that you are looking into the darkness and you can see what you need to see. And that that you don't see is not important for you to see. Like we don't need to see everything. Like he, he really gave me that. And owls as your wisdom, as your totem animal, if you wanted to look that up. And of course, I obviously I dived into that. I, I was, I'm curious all the time when animals come into my world and become a part of my space. What is nature telling me? What am I not paying attention to? What do I need to look at and really land into that? And it's funny, we have had a conversation in one of the calls I was in is understanding my contribution, my wisdoms that I'm sharing with the world. And why is that important? Why am I important? Because I'm unique and I come from a different set point. All of us are unique and we come from different viewpoints. So let's carry each other in love and let's give each other that idea of safety and that's what this owl kind of really taught me is to just slow it down sometimes like he just sat there and he was so still and he was listening and he listened to my daughter talk to him while he was up in the tree and it was so beautiful and it was just so rich and when he'd heard enough he flew away and as he was flying away it was really really cool he flew away and his wings came out and he brushed the top of my son's head and in that moment there could have been a, an element of fear right these owls they have talons and they're beautiful but my my son said he just felt a peace a wave of peace kind of float over him and this owl was telling us we were safe and so I'm super grateful for owls. I'm super grateful for all animals. But in particular, it was that moment. It was that moment that he showed us that we were safe, that we are safe to believe. We are safe to trust. We are safe to trust in our own inner wisdoms. And this will ignite us. And it was absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to share that kind of story with you guys because these are the things that we have to remember where we see our gratitudes. And I was grateful for that lesson. I was grateful for that moment and to experience that. It was magical. And there was nothing else that needed to be explained in that. And so I share that love with you. I share that love and gratitude I have for what nature's animals and creatures, and we're one of them that teach us. So remember to, if something shows up for you and you're like, oh, wow, I've now seen that like three or four times or that animal stayed around for like a couple of hours. I wonder what I'm missing. What am I, what maybe can I learn from this situation? And that, that's really what I'm, what I'm going for is what can we learn from these, these incidences? What can we take away for the self? Because we're all here trudging through our lives and some of us are seeking things, some of us are seeking peace and ease and flow, spaciousness, stillness, but yet we're not giving ourselves a permission to have that. And these animals are saying, take it, you deserve it, you are safe, claim it. And so what can you learn from these experiences and these interactions? What can you take away from it? And how can you find the gratitude in these experiences, in these moments? So thank you for being here live. Thank you for being on the replay. Thank you for interacting with me, whatever it might be. I hope that this brought a little bit of light and a whole lot of love into your space today. So thank you for being here. I am grateful for you. I am grateful for me. And I am grateful for this life that we have, that we are living. Thank you.